Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 3 of the Twisted League. So as you've just seen, we got ourselves level 50 thieving and I've sorted my microphone out. So checklist is going well at the start of the videos and the microphone is now working which is good. Uh, yeah anyway, I'm, I've actually made a plan for this episode. So 50 thieving was the first goal and that's when I was going to start recording. Check, done that. We've also been and got ourselves quite a few uh, Jango Berries and stuff. Now Jango Berries give you, I think it's plus 2 attack, plus 1 strength and minus 1 defense. So that'd be good for early combat training. Uh, 17 dark fruits, not dark fruits, strange fruits, and then three the fruit tops, uh, Golan over, I think they're called. Now we need to go and get ourselves some uh, seeds from Master Farmers. Now, hopefully I don't get hit too much. Before I was getting wrecked from them, obviously because my thieving level was so low. But with 50 thieving, we should be okay. Then we need to get some uh, some seeds and stuff. So I join you back once we're finished with this. Hopefully we can get enough to get us a decent amount. Has someone got the rocky pet? Damn, grass to that person. Hopefully we can get enough to get ourselves to level 34. Thieving, and then we can go and do Thai Farm. So, I'll join you back afterwards. A quick afterthought, now I've done with the stalls, I should have banked all of the pineapples. If you guys don't know, pineapples can be used to make super compost, which is obviously better than normal compost. Wait, it's that guy has got a thieving pet. Let's have a look at what uh, level he is. 58, grats to him, man. Hey, right, get off that, there we go. And uh, as you can see, we are doing so much better at Thieving Master Farmers now that we're level 50. I would highly recommend waiting until at least 50 before coming to Master Farmers, because previously it was so freaking bad. I mean, it's not great now I'm recording, but I promise you, it's much better than this. We went back to fruit stalls for a little bit, got to 55 Thieving, and we managed to get ourselves a load of stuff for uh, the super compost that we'll be using. So it turns out that you can actually use these Jenga berries, which I didn't know about. So we'll pop them in there, as well as 13... Uh, pineapples if you don't know you need 15 items uh to complete a compost bucket uh bucket compost bin and then we can turn it into super compost sweet corn is looking good nothing is diseased so far which is fantastic excellent feels good man should be getting loads of farming levels this episode yes yeah, 60 thieving nice that's actually a lead task as well um i'm gonna go back to master farmers for a little bit so we've got plenty of stuff for compost which should do us until we hit 43 i think it is for watermelon 47 for watermelons uh, but yeah, we should have plenty of super compost for now. So what I'm going to do is head back to the Master Farmer for a couple more levels. I don't know if we're going to go all the way to 84 with Master Farmers, just because I think it is a little bit slower than doing the fruit stalls. Uh, but it's still worth it, because I get all the seeds and stuff. So, let's see. This is what we got anyway so far. So, yeah, not too bad. 60 of those. Could probably do a little bit more for when we go to the Lizardman chests at 64. Which I don't know if we're going to do this episode, unless I want to get a Xerix Talisman. But, uh, yeah, not entirely sure yet. Not in mind upon that. It's not on the list of things to do, but things could change. Yes, 64 thieving. That means we can now steal from the stone chest in the Lizardman Temple. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I know, they, like I said, the game, the aim for this episode was to get 50 thieving and then move on and do other stuff. However, if I get to 75, I can get myself like 250 points. And I have the chance of getting the Xerix Amulet, which is going to be fantastic for teleporting around. Also, quickly, before we go to the bank, let's just have a look at my farming patch just to see if everything has grown. I'm hoping that it should have. No, it's not. Just a limp work has, I think. Yeah, that's a shame, actually, because I'm only one or two levels away, sorry, from 34, which means we can then do Tide Farm, which is another thing that I want to do. Uh, so what I might do, actually, whilst we're still over this side of the map, is go and train, uh, not train, sorry, go and grab my charcoal from the south coast, because obviously that's going to be useful at some point in the near future. Anyway, I'm going to grab that, and I'll uh, hopefully join you back with 34 farming. Damn, sand crabs are quiet down here. I thought it'd be rammed still. Empty our charcoal, sorry, empty our charcoal furnace. 3,000 juniper charcoal. And of course, we'll get another 3,000 from this. 6,000 charcoal. So that'd be everything that we need in order to make our dynamite, which is absolutely amazing. How many years have I been playing this game for? Like, legit, the longest time. Secateurs won't work with this. You need a plant cure. Oh, well, that was awkward. Alright, so you'll notice that I have actually been chopping some oak trees whilst watching my farming patches just to make sure that none of them actually go ahead and die. So if we collect this lumpwork plant, I'm hoping that we get enough XP to get us to 34 farming. We do indeed, which means we can now go to the Tithe farm and plant Golan over through fruit, I think it's called. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to head over now and do some... Some chests. Yeah, we're going to go and do the Lizardman chest. I decided that it's probably worth doing. That guy has got a ham joint. 
So many people have clue scroll rewards. It's amazing. Like, I actually love to see people around with some random items. I'm going to go and get myself, hopefully, a level 75 at Thieving at least. If we get anything decent along the way, I will be sure to let you know. I'll be taking some strange fruit with me as well, just in case you guys don't know. Strange fruit cures poison, and you have a chance of getting poisoned when you get teleported out. And also whilst going to the Lizardman chest. The Lizardman chests are over here in the temple area. So, I think the quickest way for me to get there is probably to run here. And then get a boat. Let's do this. Wow, I actually didn't know this. So you'll notice how I bought some thread. And it's slowly regening. Or like, regaining. If you just leave the interface and come back in, it's fully restocked. How cool is that? Now I imagine a lot of people know about this already. But that's completely new to me. Which is awesome. If you're wondering why I'm getting needle and thread. You do get Zerishian fabric from stealing from this chest and obviously I can craft that into pieces of armor to get myself some crafting XP. I also need to bring a chisel and a few other things so I'm going to get my inventory set up and then I'll show you exactly what I would say you can just in case you want to copy along at home. Okay I'm hoping that'll be alright. So we've got loads of anti-poisons here, food, we shouldn't need too much food because we've got a four times regen rate, uh, chisel for chiseling the gems that we get, the uncut gems, I'm probably going to drop in most of them to be fair uh, and then using the needles obviously on the fabric to get ourselves some armor. Sweet. I'll uh, let you know if we get anything decent. Hopefully we can get the amulet pretty quickly. I've heard of people going like over 80, uh, over, sorry, thieving level of 80 before even getting it. So that's pretty dry, I believe. It's like a one in, I don't actually know the drop rate of it, but it's pretty dry. Okay, so these are very, very busy. Now, I think they're actually affected by, do you know when you open them? Like no one else can actually pick, like try and open the chest when it's open. So I think it's probably better to find a quiet world. Because watch, I'm clicking it now. Uh, as soon as it opens for someone, oh, it opened for me that time. But as soon as it opens for someone else, there you go. I can't do anything, and I failed, and now I get thrown out. Okay, this could be quite annoying. And um, we are now poisoned. Wow, that just hit me for an eight. What? Okay, this is quite dangerous. I actually just got my first clue scroll. And we can do it. We're going to keep this one. Nice. That is our first trip done. That is very, very good there. It's nice. It's, I'd say it's pretty chill in AFK. Uh, but yeah, we got to level 68 thieving and 32 crafting from that. And uh, as you can see, we've got loads of stuff in our inventory, which is fantastic. We've got the full Zerishian robes. Um, the salad robes, as people call them. So at least we don't have to bring any more of them back. So next time, we might be able to stay for a little bit longer. However, I'm going to try and do this clue scroll whilst we are back on the mainland, or at least back in Zaya. Uh, head up to the Arcade's mine and see where it goes. That is actually surprising. I didn't think we'd be able to do this clue scroll. Let's uh, open the casket and see what we get. Nice. <laughs> to be fair, the Addy Sword's quite good. Um, <laughs> but two rolls on Firelighters. Come on, bro. I'm going to head back to the Lizardman chest now. Uh, hopefully get ourselves... One of these talismans to get around the map a bit easier because running around is a pain in the backside. We also complete a task there as well. Complete one medium clue scroll. I'm looking forward to doing clue scrolls on this account. I honestly cannot wait. And I was also thinking that I might actually go for the artisan uh, next relic rather than the gatherer one. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let me see how many points we actually have. Uh, so let's go to tasks and claim all of our points. So we only had 60 points there. Uh, I can't remember what they were for, what, what they were for, but still got 550 to go, which, uh, yeah, that's going to take a little while for us to get, but we'll, we'll have it by the end of this episode. I guarantee it. Yes, 126 fangs to put into it. We are 73 thieving. Feels good, man. 126 charges, and of course, let's equip it and complete that task. Boom. I don't know how many task points that is. Let's have a quick look. Uh, tasks, claim points, 50 league points. Nice. So we need exactly 500 now until our next relic. We're going to go to at least level 75 here because then we can steal from the gem stall. But uh, yeah, that was all we were here for. We're almost going to get kicked out soon. So when I run out of food, I'm going to go and complete this clue scroll that I've got in my inventory. Obviously, as long as we can complete it, that is. Well happy with that. Not going to lie. Yes. Damn, we've got our second casket already. I'm just going to open it up. No point holding you in suspense for too long. Adamant plate legs. That's really good. I do believe we need them for a clue scroll step. Uh, runes are always good, and purple sweets are pretty much useless. I'm going to head back over, though, 
uh, to the uh, lookout. There we go. I'm going to head back to the chest, though, and try and get level 75. Shouldn't take us too long now. We are level 73 still, uh, but we are getting pretty close to 74. Leveling up in this game mode is just so freaking fast. We legit just managed to bag ourselves some Onyx Bolt Tips. Now, I think they out for like 8k each. So, that's like 70k there. That's ridiculous. And we're almost at level 75 thieving. Once we get one more chest, which hopefully doesn't take us too long. Come on. There we go. 75 thieving, which means we can now steal from gem stalls. You know what that means, boys. Let's teleport home. Go and get ourselves on 250 points. All right, here we go. Where's the gem stall? Mate, is he, is he just stole it? There's one over here as well, isn't there? All right. Yeah, you keep the guard occupied. Boom. Let's collect those points. Tasks. Claim points. 250 points. I'm going to go ahead and complete this clue scroll real quick. I thought a dog was coming from then. Uh, we should be able to complete this one. And then I'm going to go over to the mess hall to try and get myself even more points. All right, well, uh, I was just about to celebrate and say, yes, we can do another clue scroll. However, this one needs us to go inside the farming guild, which unfortunately we don't have access to get into at the moment. However, uh, we will do after a couple of games of Tithe Farm. So the plan is for now is to head over to the mess hall. So I'm going to go and do that. We'll keep the clue scroll with us because uh, obviously we can go ahead and do it afterwards. I'm not going to drop it or anything because that's just pointless. Um, oh, saying that, well, actually, no, where is the mess hall? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. The good thing again about doing this later on is the fact that everyone's doing pizzas now. So like the starting food, like pies and things, it's just so easy. Look at this XP. 14k getting us to 41. So I'm going to start doing some stews. I did stews originally. Uh, however, it was just, I kept burning them and stuff. So yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to stay here for. I know there is a task to do 20 of each types of food at once. So I might go ahead and just do them for some easy points. But we have just completed another league task there, which of course is to get to level 40 cooking. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead now and make myself some stews. So I'll join you back. I don't know. So at some point soon. <laughs> this guy thinks that you can only use uh, buckets of water on flour to make dough. I've literally just blown his freaking mind. We've actually just hit 100% whole city as favor. I completely forgot that this gives you favor, which is amazing. Uh, we don't have to lock in anymore, which is good as well. Um, however, that was a task, which is amazing. So let's see how many points we actually get off that. I don't know how many it's going to be. It's probably like 10 or something. 110. I don't know what else we claim there, but... Uh... Yeah, only 140 until our next relic, which is nice. 60 cooking coming in from Mess Hall. Let's claim them points. See how many we get for that. Uh, 50. Not bad. Only 90 left to go. And when we get to level... What is it for the pizzas? Is it 64 or something? Uh, 65 pineapple pizzas, which hopefully shouldn't take us too long. Then we, what we can do is go ahead and... I think if you put 20 in at once you get 100 league points so definitely getting that relic very very soon all right let's hand off these pies and get ourselves 65 cooking which means we can now make pineapple pizzas which of course means that we can finish off the last task that we need to get our second second third relic we are on three relics right yeah we are third relic this one still haven't decided which one we want but uh, let's go ahead and make them pizzas first every world is like this so we're going to be getting hardly any xp for this which is actually terrible but uh Ah, oh, well, hopefully we can find a world with a decent appreciation or whatever this is. Yeah, appreciation. This is the best world I've found, which has got nearly 40% appreciation. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all these pieces in, see how much XP we get, as well as complete a league task. 45k, not bad. 66 cooking off that, and the, uh, the task has been completed. So let's go over to our tasks and collect our points. There we go. Now we can claim our final... Well, not final, sorry. Now we can claim the relic, which... I still, I'm going to have a quick think about this and come back to you with my decision. Now, originally, I was like adamant that I was going to take the gift of the gatherer because I hate mining, I hate fishing, woodcutting's boring, hunters I hate, thieving's pretty slow, farming's pretty slow, runecrafting's pretty slow. <sighs> but artisan does give you construction XP and that's the only cape you can get. Now, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm going with this because these skills are going to take me longer to train and because I'm like I don't have much time to play and stuff I think it's smart of me to do this because let's face it I'm not going to be hitting 99s I'm just not so I'm going to go with the gift of the gatherer um probably unpopular again I actually think it is I think this is, this is like one of the least selected ones but I'm going to go ahead and do it finally the last one 
has been completed. Right. Don't know what we're going to be doing next. I do have a couple of uh, a couple of things on my mind. So now that we're 100% whole city's favor, obviously I can go to Thai Farm. So that is probably what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And I'll join you back in a couple of days for the next update. I am loving this game so far. Still loving the sideburns. Still can't believe I did that.